Hmm, what could this vlog be about? Hi, and thank you for clicking on this video. It is a Saturday and most of my chores are done. I was going to take you with me on this weekend because it's not just a regular weekend. I am prepping for travel and I'm really excited because I was so down and out on my last video talking about my trip to Phoenix and how it was a bummer. How many times did I say bummer in that last video? So I'm doing it again. I have an opportunity to go back. I am so grateful, so excited. And this is the video that I wanted to do the first time. I leave on Monday, so we've got two days to prepare, but I'm just gonna start getting ready and let Let's go to Phoenix. I like to clean on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I did a deep clean on everything, just cause it's really nice to leave the house clean and to know that you're coming home to something clean too. After a trip, even as fun as it is, when you come home, you just wanna relax. So everything is ready. All of my laundry is done. I've written out my itinerary as far as my tea times and just activities that I'm doing. And I gotta find outfits for all of it. I'm something in here. Good morning. We are up and at them. It is 5 a.m. and all I've done is brush my teeth. It's too early to do 12, 3.30. So I thought this would be a good time to pack and get my outfits together. These I have every morning, Nordstrom coffee and whole milk. And then I always have a liter of water in the morning. It doesn't have to be life. I actually prefer Essentia or Smart Water is okay. Just whatever they have available. And then I brought my bullet journal because I wrote down all of my plans. I was recording because then I drank this much water. I drank like a fish in the mornings. So I woke up, I brushed my teeth, I just put water on my face in the mornings and then eye drops because I was like, you know, if I film, I want to look presentable. So I'm going to do that. So hopefully you agree because now I'm filming and I'm going to pack two flight outfits. There's a really nice gym at the hotel and I kind of wanted to work out there. So I'm going to bring two outfits or tea times plus one golf event. So I went to the driving range yesterday. It looked like this. I just chop down and the driver like just flies. Oh, the ball just flies, pops up from the tee. It's so annoying. So I just need to like sweep down at it. And I think what happened is I stopped trying to swing out like that. Why? It was working for me. It was consistent for me. I've, uh, what is this here? In rotation, my right leg hyper extends and I think trying to stop that, I stop rotating and when I stop rotating, instead of having my hands out here, I made them go up here because this is all the room I had. So I think for now, I'm okay hyper extending my leg because I like it and it makes me comfortable. This is a bodysuit that I purchased at Lululemon when I went and it's like a square neckline, really cute and it's like light baby pink. First day that I go, I have a tea time at four and it's gonna be 73 degrees. I'm really glad I'm doing this with no makeup on in case I try these outfits on. This skirt is from Victoria's Secret. I'll put that and then I'll grab a bra. It's a bodysuit so you don't even need to wear undies. Nothing crazy in the sock department. This is a halter top with a collar and it goes under this cropped little argyle vest and then a white pleated skirt. Really cute. I actually have a different tea time that day at a different course. Does this look so crazy preppy? I like when I have too many options because it means I'm good at shopping and I purchase things that I actually want to wear. I just look dumber and dumber in every outfit that I try on. I have two great black dresses and I am going to pack one because the hat has a black accent on it. It's really cute. The vibes. <sighs> Packing it. I noticed that so many golf courses Websites say that they require collared shirts and they don't. I read that all the time. And then you see other people and what they're wearing on the golf course. It's like, no, you don't. The temperature is not super warm, by the way. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but I have nothing to wear. So I'm bringing a sweatshirt, I'm just laying out the clothes. I don't know if I'm gonna put them in the suitcase yet, but then I'm gonna do the workout routine, 12, 3.30. Then I'm gonna put on makeup 
and go to the driving range, but I'm gonna put my hair oil in already because I'm gonna do my big shower today. what happens in here <laughs> things get crazy really fast so I did my makeup and I just left all my makeup out so that I know what to pack and then the way that I verify I have everything needed packed up I just use it in the morning of the flight which is tomorrow out of the bags and make sure that I didn't forget anything my first time I did that I was really glad I did because I accidentally put my eyelash glue back in the drawer. So could you imagine? And I have oil in my hair. So I'm, I'm out of the driving range. I'm going to go again. I just want a little bit more practice. But the range session went well. Like I think that I've shallowed out my swing and I think it looks a lot better and just smoother. Can you tell I'm in a good mood? I think it's been a while since I've filmed actually because when I was doing the treadmill, I just told myself I didn't want to hold on at all. Not holding on, it actually makes a big difference and I was pouring sweat in the gym and like working out. I think that a lot of it is mental. So my mental fortitude is strong and I'm just in a really good mood lately. So I was really excited to have accomplished that. And then I'm just on a roll right now. So I'm elated. I might get a salad from Olive Garden. That sounds really good. I like the vinegar. I love vinegar, especially when I'm traveling or something like that because I feel like it kills germs and just prevents bad stuff. I don't know if that's all in my head. When I used to get sick when I was little, I would gargle white vinegar and it was effective. So I just like eating like salads and stuff. Just doing two feet, three feet, four feet, with two golf balls. The first one, I try to just hit it hard as if maybe I was doing uphill putt. And then the second one, I try to just baby it in. So I just wanted different amounts of power for those putts. And then another drill that I like to do is just making sure to do my pre-shot routine instead of standing over, hitting a ball, hitting a ball, hitting a ball. So just really pretending that you're on the course, setting up. It's nice to set up. You don't want to be set and just hit a bunch of balls at the same time. So, whoa, that was... You want to get into the habit of having this set up because you won't be ready to go on the course. You gotta take the time to set up. I just have my last load of laundry in the dryer. I think two or three things in there I am going to pack. And I'm just gonna make my sugar scrub because I'm gonna take the big shower today. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at my face. <laughs> I was going to film when I had the mask on. Um, this is not the clay mask. This is the AHA BHA mask and my teeth whitening trays because it just looks like a mouth guard. I use this mask. It's called the Sicardi Baby Facial or something like that from Drunk Elephant. And it's AHA and BHA. And it's like, it kind of looks like like foundation color, but it's a little bit gritty and you just put one pump on your hand, you spread it all over your face and it goes clear. And then it immediately starts feeling like bacon grease all over your face and your whole face burns for a whole minute, but you leave it on for 20 and that sensation goes away. And then after 20 minutes, you just wash it off. And my face is very red right now. This is the closest to a chemical peel or anything like that that I've ever had. I am a DIY girly, so I don't go to the spa or anything I've never had professionally done like skincare, but uh, I think it looks really funny. And now I'm all prepped. So this is why I shaved my face and aired my face, you know, just got rid of all of my facial hair on a different day because I don't think my skin could handle both. And I do have a little bit of acne scarring and I don't want to jinx myself, but I don't believe in jinx anyway. I have no pimples. So this is a good sign for this trip already. Uh, no zits. This is all packed up. I like to check my golf bag 
clothes and all that. Hair stuff is here, which I'm also checking, but I wanna do my hair in the morning. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. I left everything on this counter and then I just bagged everything up. And these are just bagged to contain them in case any of the product like breaks or the packages open or anything. These are liquids. This is like what you're allowed to carry on. It has to be products in, I think it's like smaller than three ounce individual bottles. And then it has to all fit in one quart size Ziploc bag. This one, this one I'm bringing and then my plus one or vice versa, whatever. This is how I travel with my makeup brushes, this nifty little travel case. This I'm checking. I'll put it in the bag tomorrow morning after I put deodorant on. I'm off to bed. I drank half my water already or a little bit more than half. I might actually just finish it because if I don't drink it, then I get a headache of thirst. But if I drink it, then I'll be in the bathroom at the airport the whole time. I'm trying to plan out everything. Good morning. And it looks like everything is all good. I didn't need to go into my drawers for anything. I am a professional packer now. Put these back in the bags and pack everything up. Then time to fly. I'm in the lobby waiting. We're here nice and early. And it's a nice, intimate ambiance. I have a question. You know how you have to remove your shoes at security? The lady told me, she was like, just for future reference, you should never go barefoot in an airport. And I used to do this thing where I would wear socks and then go through security and then just throw them away. And I've done that before, but it doesn't really make that big of a difference. And I was thinking about it and I want to know your opinion because what are the other options? Like she said that you should just wear socks, go through security, and then put your shoes back on. Aren't all of the same germs going from the floor to the inside of your shoe anyway? Or the other option she said you could have socks on, like if you wear slip-ons like this, have socks on, go through security, and then put the socks away. That's, in my opinion, that's worse. Like, that's disgusting, because then all the floor germs will be in your bag. What are your thoughts? What do you do at the airport? It's germs on your foot. Does that, how do you feel about that? Also, I have on this, like, I think it's a tennis dress. So it's a dress with built-in shorts and pockets. So it is so convenient. This is my favorite invention as far as fashion goes. Self-proclaimed germaphobes. I always find inconsistencies in their logic. And I'm not a germaphobe. I like building my immunity the old-fashioned way. But I mean, I like to wash my hands. I like to wipe down surfaces. But some things, you have to be realistic. Like the coffee that I purchased, all the straws are out. None of them are wrapped. Who knows who's grabbed a straw? You know what I mean? You can't be scared of germs. I don't consider myself a germaphobe, and I also don't consider myself dirty. There's a very happy medium in there, and I think everyone has their own spot, and it's, it's fine. this all look familiar? This was my airport ensemble. This feels like such deja vu, except the sun is shining. It is 71 degrees and I'm at Safeway again. You know, it's actually really funny. Mindset is so important because usually for the car rental, you can just go down to the garage and then just pick out your car. But it, like, I don't know what the delay was, but I had to go to the front desk. And then at the hotel, you can do contactless check-in, but then it was like, go check in in person. And then my safe order, there's something unavailable, but it won't tell me what. I didn't try to order tres leches this time, but I just think it's funny because it's like my brain, I don't know if it's the sun or something like that, but it's all good. Like the, the little hiccups are so small. I am elated to be back in Phoenix. Like I can't believe I'm here. Uh, I don't even think I'll realize it until maybe the event or something. You know what I was thinking about at the hotel? You know, like AI, 
even before AI, how did elevators work? Because if multiple floors are clicking to get an elevator, how do you decide which floor to go to first? If I were an elevator and there were, let's say that there were 10 floors, if I was on floor number 10 and then all the bottom people wanted to go up or down, like how do you know which way to even go? Is that AI? Because I would get so flustered if I was on the middle floor and then floor number 10 wanted to go down to the first floor but floor number three wanted to go to the fourth floor. How does it even decide what order to pick people up? Which floor to, <laughs> is this like, is this ridiculous? But how does it know which floor to go to first and in what order? Because I don't think that elevators like zigzag up and down. Does it figure it out? Does it pick the most efficient way to be at the top floor and then pick up everyone who needs to go down floors? Or does it just go? I have no idea, but. I feel like we've had AI before we had AI. So I'm obviously not from here. There's a restaurant like Salad and Sons or something like that. Is that worth going to? Because I love In-N-Out every day, but I mean, I can make room for vegetables. The thing they had ran out of on my Safeway order was my little vegetable platter. I think they found a comparable one, but what's Salad and Sons? What is it? Salad to go? Tell me if it's good. Are you from here? Don't tell me if it's good or not, if you've never heard of it. <laughs> Serious inquiries only. Bad adult hits. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Lady adult hits. <laughs> Have I become one of those vloggers? The answer is no. I like the protein style burger. It's like crisp. Um, it's a lot messier to eat. But actually, I really like it. I ate the wrong burger. And so the first couple bites, there were no onions. When I added the onion, it's really good. I think the first time I didn't like it was because I brought it home. And it's really good, like fresh. But that's the case for most food. Not on a diet or anything, I have fries and a chocolate shake. But I like that burger. Is that crazy? Every time we come to Phoenix, I eat in and out every day. But that was the first time dining in and it was such a fun experience i'm really excited about it it was just really fun i i had a really nice time the food just tastes more fresh and it was just like a really it was just a really fun experience i almost cried in there because it's just really fun i like this kind of stuff and i'm in a really good mood it was just i really like eating it in and out i like eating there noise by the way is my shot scope whenever I charge it it does this why this hotel has a refrigerator and this is how I stocked it this is not how it comes in we're here at Encanto 9 the par 3 course I'm turning on my shot scope because why not scope <laughs> my favorite caddy it's hot and a little bit cloudy, which is so nice. I've been at the range a lot lately, so my chips, my chips are pretty solid because I have certain flags that I think about and I'm on the green because of it. Do a swing thing in a minute because I want to change my swing and in my practice swings even I've got it but every time I swing at a ball on the tee I don't got it good morning um I just 
did my hair no I, I didn't I did my makeup and my hair stayed nice and curly just from being in a top knot I swear my hair looks best in Phoenix I think oh something I was gonna tell you I was not going to mention it earlier but I said I had no blemishes and I have a pimple right here I don't think you can see it but you can feel it I can feel it and if you think I'm gonna mess with it, you are wrong because I don't usually have willpower, but I do when I could potentially make some cold sore looking <laughs> blemish the day before an event. So I'm not touching it, but I can feel it right there. I'm going to get the breakfast buffet and it's actually time right now. And then I'm going to the par three course. So that's the morning so far. It's going to be like 60 something this morning. So that's what I'm gonna do. But first I'm gonna eat. I slept really early last night and I woke up a lot because of all the noises, but they weren't loud. I woke up thinking there was an alarm going off in the hallway. And so I opened the door and you can't hear anything. It was like the most silent, like me, me. And I thought the whole hallway was like doing an evacuation or something. Then I can hear like right now like a dip. I don't know. Is that just me? Well, this is my breakfast because they didn't have anything. I was going to grab an omelet and hard-boiled eggs, but they didn't have either. So I'll just drink this. Another beautiful day at Encanto 9. What's not beautiful right now is my golf. <laughs> I have chunked so many chips. And I don't know why it gets like that. I hear people talk about how in golf, you're not always going to be on your A game. You can be in your B and C game. And right now I'm in my C, D game because not like CD ROM, but like my game is not great and it's okay. Like I'm not mad about it. I have definitely scored better. My score was higher than usual. My swing isn't like flowing like it does sometimes. I'm not on it right now. I could tell at the range when I've been going because I've been getting to go to the range a little bit before coming out to Phoenix again, but it's just not there yet and it's totally fine. So if you're not always on the best, like don't expect if you're playing golf or anything in life to just always get better like this. It'll be like that. And if I'm on the low right now, I'm still in Phoenix. So that is a thing. It's kind of cold and rainy and um, I want to go to In-N-Out again. Dine in, not the BMW, but like when you eat not to go. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do. Another day, another trip to In N Out. If you want the burger that has like the onions on it, it's Flying Dutchman with onions. Otherwise, you just get patties with cheese on it. So you have to specify that you want the onion buns. I was going to show you this, but I ate it really fast because it's messy. Whoa. Yum. I went to a new golf course today um, and it was called Aguila. Just <laughs> eating some more in and out I just did the protein style this time with grilled onions. I went to a new golf course and it was called Aguila in Levine. I don't know if that still counts as Phoenix, but uh, I just like went in with a different mindset, not trying to score a certain score. I didn't even try to break 100. I just wanted to swing smooth and have a really fun time. Remember why I even got into golf? And it was way more fun. I scored a 51 on the front nine. It was super fun. Uh, and I like that course a lot. It's just a little bit out of the way. So what I was going to say on here before I started eating was I just want to stop watching swing videos. Like I don't want to try to change my swing anymore, especially not by myself, because when I watch things online, I'll hear these tips and they probably are true. They probably work. Um, but everyone's swing is so different. And if you change something in your swing, you'll change so many other things too. And mostly you'll change your comfort level and you probably won't swing as freely. If they tell you like step closer to the ball, they probably have someone in mind who's standing too far from the ball. But if you're already too close to the ball and then you hear a swing advice, it's like, oh, step closer to the ball, you'll listen. Or if random people tell you to fix something and you listen, like, oh, your elbow shouldn't be so far from your body. You should have a towel in here and swing. Okay, well, that's not as comfortable for me. And I see a lot of my favorite players who have very consistent and straight and far carries 
with their elbows out you know people's swings are so different so i think that you could probably trust yourself and i know golf is counterintuitive and i like the community and all that as far as like changing my swing i'm just trying to get mine back and just go from there so i don't know that i'm ever going to have 240 yard carry drive i don't really want that i want a consistent drive whatever the number is like if it's 180 but it's consistent and has a baby draw that's what i want all right good morning we are here at dobson ranch it is 7 18 a.m i'm doing the back nine today at dobson and so far i just hit my first drive I'm on the fairway, let's go. Arizonians, do you guys know that you have more breeds of bird than I've ever seen, I think? The birds here, they kind of look like ones I'm familiar with, but then you get closer and they're different. One of the workers just drove by and he's wearing mittens. <laughs> it's a uh, 60. It's calling my name. Oh, <laughs> I tried to catch it saying 12, 3, but it doesn't. Finished 12, 3, Now I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm actually gonna wash my makeup off and then rest. Then I'll start getting ready for the event. Wash my face, makeup for the day, take two. Ta-da! Why did I go so low? <laughs> Whatever. Still don't know what I'm gonna wear, so I can't pan down. I'm in line at the Good Good event, and I have a genuine question. Where? Oh, but did I not realize the demographic? <laughs> They say not to meet your heroes, but I say meet them and calm down if you get to because I just took a picture or had a little conversation with Paige, yes, the Paige, Sporanic, and I just kept punching her and <laughs> that's weird. So I calmed down a little bit and I got to meet Kaylin Henderson. And um, yeah, I mean, like they're just golfing and the tee box was backed up. So everyone was just hanging out and everyone's really nice. This is my Super Bowl. This is my Grammys. This is amazing. I could not have asked for a better event to attend. Oh my goodness. And there are tons of people here, I'm sure, to watch Good Good and Grant, uh, Grant Brian Bros, Garrett and all that. I'm here for the girls. Now I'm gonna watch it on TV. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> Frankie making it happen. How cute is this? Time for her to film the landing. Let's see. Back home, and that was just such an amazing 
trip. I just, I had such a nice time. I used to be really into celebrities and for what? I started getting so bored watching people not doing anything and just talking about themselves all the time. I don't like idolatry. I don't like the idea of putting people above. Like I do understand that we're all equals, but it is fun to share a passion with other people. So to me, um, an event like this is more about sharing your love for a certain hobby, you know, the game of golf, more than looking at people like they're above, they're just skilled at this game and it's definitely a treat to watch, to just see the ball striking and see the swings and to hear the ball striking and the swings, like everything is, to it's a totally different ball game and I love to see it. I love to share that passion, even the people that were attending, you know, to have this passion for the game of golf, to see people who have a hobby and who excel at it. It's fun to watch people who are good at what you're doing and learning from them. A lot of them, you know, Grant has Grant Horvat teaches, Paige ceranic has been doing tutorials since forever. Kaylin on her For the Girls golf page, she has tips. Um, Haley Ostrom has chipping tips and all that on her channel as well. So people are there to help and it's just a fun community. I love the golf community. I think it's positive and I love watching, I guess, amateurs or whatever play. But yeah, I like it. I like getting excited to see people not because of how much money they have or that they're in a movie. I understand acting is a craft too, but I think celebrities, I'm just so tired of them. Getting to watch people play golf and there was a putting competition on the side, you know, any any attendee was able to enter, just that kind of stuff. It was just so fun. And those, I couldn't have asked for a better group of people to watch. So thank you very much for watching this vlog. Thank you for joining me on this trip. I. I'm so happy to have been able to attend and to travel again. I feel very blessed, a little bit spoiled. So no more travel vlogs for a while. I will just be here working on my golf game and I love it. I'm continuing to love it. So yes, I'm going to do my laundry. My home is so clean because I cleaned everything before I left. So now I'm just gonna do my laundry wipe down all my things, my bags and stuff, and unpack my makeup. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.